glasses on. All right, make sure they not crooked. You know what? I'm gonna crook them a little bit. Boom, what's going on y'all? Today's topic is something that I actually been wanting to talk about for a very long time. Balancing fun versus frustrating characters in fighting games. Let's talk about it. As we all know, every game has fun, which quote unquote equals BS, right? Nobody wants a honest fighting game. So when it comes down to BS in a fighting game, that's basically what makes a tier list. The character with the most BS tends to have every tool that they need to be considered top tier. So when we think about Street Fighter, the top tier characters are obviously Bison, G, Urien, uh, Rashid, Kami, you know, Colin. All these characters have toolkits that the quote unquote fun characters don't have, which relates to Nash, Falk, so on and so on. We have a balance that people tend to overlook. When you hit somebody with these cheap tactics, it's considered to be fun because we're not on the receiving end of it. But getting hit by it is when the frustration comes in. So the first question of tonight, Nightmare, what is considered to be frustration in Street Fighter V? Well, I'll show you. Frustration number one, getting put in that situation. Frustration number two, actually getting hit by this situation. And so on and so on. Come on. Yeah, you can't, can't forget about that one. Showcase another one. Frustration number two. Time to block, time to guess. Oh, you got hit? Oh, it's time to really get frustrated. Because now the moment you go to the corner, it's time to guess. Oh, frustration number three. Oops, my bad. Whoopsie. Frustration number three. You stood there for 12 long frames, so therefore you got command grabbed. Oh, wait, you actually blocked your legs? Oh, guess what? Plus four situations, now it's time to really guess. Oh, man, not. Don't even get me started on Barrow. You actually blocked your legs? Oh, guess what? Plus nine situation. Oh, you actually blocked the overhead? Guess what? Plus seven situation. Oh, you blocked my turn punch? Plus 11 situation. It's time to guess. You didn't actually block? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time for extreme corner carry into a plus two situation. You about to guess for your life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is highly irritating. Oh, yeah. Oh, high low situation. Nothing is irritating about Balrog, okay? See, a lot of people don't know this. Balrog is actually the most honest and fairest character in this game. If you get hit by anything Balrog does, and you know what, I'm not just saying this because I'm a Balrog player. But my dude is fair and honest. If you got hit by overhead, you didn't block it. If you got hit low, you didn't block it. Like, my dude has no cross-ups. My dude has no defense options, but thanks to V-Shift, you know, we have been blessed, you know, thanks to V-Shift. But my dude is linear. My dude is straightforward, no left-right mixes. He is fair and honest. Can I get a all eh? I, I just had to point that out real quick, but you know, back to the video. Oh, Lord forbid you block that. Plus three situation. Lord, Lord forbid you get hit by this. Look at this. Look at this frustration until it's time to guess for dead life. Oh, you better not get command grab. Oh, overhead? Don't let it hit. So law forbid you get hit by this target combo. Enter this. Oh, you got grabbed? Oh, guess what? It's time to guess for dead life. Oh, you got hit by EX zone? Oh, guess what? It's time to guess for dead life. Like I said earlier on, this is all considered to be the BS of Street Fighter V. This is what makes a game fun when you have characters that have this robbery, that have this edge that the fair and honest characters don't have. When you combine this robbery in a fighting game, which is mainly the V-Trigger, when you combine this robbery, people have fun, but they balance it out 
by giving you options in the game in order to deal with it. And these options vary from V reversal to V shift to having a character with a DP. This is ways of dealing with the BS, right? So if you think about it, V trigger robbery, defense options, okay? So now they starting to balance out. You, you know why they starting to balance out? Because now the robbery won't happen as likely because now the character or the player has something to worry about. So they're not gonna just autopilot the robbery. They have to sometimes think about it. So that's where the balance comes in at. That's easier said than done, right? And this is coming from somebody that plays Balrog, one of the most fair and honest characters in, in the game, okay? We're not gonna think about the lower players who just completely rob you. We're not gonna call out the Cody players that just activate the pipe and then just command grab you all day, all right? We're not gonna talk about the Akuma players that just, you know, activate V-Trigger, throw out some air fireballs, and then hit you with a demon because you didn't think that the demon was gonna happen. We're not gonna talk about none of that, all right? The sum of the story is nobody wants a fair and honest game, right? If it was a fair and honest game, you'll see a bunch of Ryu's running around from left to right. Even though Ryu is a threat this season. But he's probably the most... And this is before patch, right? Like, this is before the buff. Ryu was honest. So if we had a bunch of Ryu's in a fighting game, the game wouldn't be fun. So that's why they have characters like Akuma, Set, Laura, with just straight robbery to make it fun. But they give us options, which kind of balance it out. If we didn't have options, then we might as well not throw the, we might as well not play the game because everybody would play the same character. So to move on to the next part of the video, I actually want to showcase some of this robbery in action. He said just play rank? Nah. Nah. You see, I won't be able to play rank because there's nothing robbery about Barrow. He's fair and honest. I haven't even turned the video on yet, but as we can clearly see. There's Ibuki on the screen. She has less than, I want to say, 30% life left. She has full V-Trigger. And she has a whole life bar, basically, to take off this jury. So you can only imagine the fun that's about to happen for the Ibuki player and the frustration that the jury player is about to go through. So let's go ahead and see this in prime action of what I'm talking about. Oh, here go the fun. Here go the fun. Uh oh. Ah, uh, and there it is. There it is. My dude had to guess. No, no, no. Actually, that wasn't even pure robbery. He ate a big damage combo, but he guessed wrong on the overhead. So that's a little snippet of an example of what I'm talking about. But you know what, though? We're going to find something that's a little bit more interesting. Oh, bro! Don't tell me a don't tell me a Kuma thing's about to happen. Yo! Don't tell me this is about to happen like this. Look! Look at all this frustration. Robbery. 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 Oh. Oh. Time. Time for the fun. Time for the fun. Time for the fun. And guess who's frustrated? Guess who's frustrated? Bro, don't don't tell me jury things about to happen. Don't tell me jury things about to happen. Wait, is the tables about to turn? I thought this would have been Mika doing the robber. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh oh. Wait. Wait, what's about to happen? Bro, don't tell me, bro, don't tell me boogie things about to happen. Bro, don't tell me boogie things are about to happen. Robbery. Look at this robbery. You see, look at that, bro. Barrow can't do none of this. Okay. You see what that Ibuki just did to that Ryu? Barrow can't do none of that left rightness. So just think about that. Whenever people be like Barrow is just robbery, just think about all these left right characters. And that's all I'm going to say. Just think about all these left right characters. Uh oh, here we go. Prime example. Prime example. Oh. Prime example. Look at that. Look at that. I guarantee you the Cammy thought he was on the other side. I guarantee you he thought he was on the other side. But guess what? He stayed in front. Straight robbery. Yuri was having fun. No, actually, this is Nemo. Nemo was having fun. The Cammy is frustrated. And he lost. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it time for Vega robbery? He had the block at the end though. True. True. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Robberies. Robberies. Oh, Abigail? Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, this. Okay. This Abigail Angie. This Abigail Angie. Uh oh. Prime example. Stood there for 12 frames. Oh, you text. You text. Wait, what? Oh, that's, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Okay, so y'all get the gist of it. This is the true prime example of balancing fun versus frustration in Street Fighter V. It's fun when you're hitting people with this, but it's frustrating when you're on the receiving end of it. But they give us defensive options to deal with it. If y'all feel like there's anything else that I may have missed, please feel free to put it down in the comment section below. Always remember, five uploads a week, you won't miss a beat. The road to 3k is really almost complete i only need 10 more subs and maybe by the time that this video come out or published i may have them 10 subs 10 subs my bad but if i don't i only need 10 more so you see this little notification that pops up right here go ahead and just hit that subscribe button